Okay, hear me out and then replay this video or this part of this video as much as you need to. You are not bad at sales. Don't believe me? Let's talk about it for a minute. Here's the reality of it. Most people will say that they are bad at sales just because they didn't make a few sales. Maybe you've been on a real tough streak. Maybe it's been two weeks since you made a sale. Maybe it's been a month. Honestly, it could be two years since you made a sale. That still doesn't mean that you're bad at selling. Nobody really is bad at selling. Selling is something that we do every single day. Have you had a friend, a partner, a significant other that you've suggested to go out to dinner with? You chose the restaurant, you helped them decide where to eat, you picked the movie, you found something to watch on Netflix. Whether you're selling yourself, you're selling someone else, you're selling. We're selling all the time. Your kids sell you on wanting mac and cheese for dinner. You sell them on cleaning up their room so that they can gain access to their iPad for the evening. We all sell all the time, so you're not bad at it. You might lose some of those arguments. You might lose some of those sales. Still doesn't mean you're bad at it. You're choosing to be bad at it if you continue to tell yourself that you're bad at it. That is the difference. And that's something that you really need to pay attention to. Hey, I'm Jeff Burlingame, certified mentor for Two Brain Business. And I'm here on the Two Brain Business YouTube channel where it is our goal to help a million entrepreneurs grow wealthy. That's what we do here at Two Brain Business. And I think we can help you. Now, if what I'm saying is relevant to you right now, consider subscribing to the channel, smash a like on this video, ring that notification bell so you'll be notified when we drop more content. And let's get into this. So if you're not bad at selling, how do you get better at selling? Well, you try like anything else. If you were to get on a skateboard for the first time in your life and try and do a kickflip, and you obviously didn't because it was the first time that you tried to get on a skateboard, would you say you're bad at skateboarding? Or would you say that you haven't practiced enough to be able to do that trick? And then what would you do? You would probably practice to get better at it. If you made a video for the first time for your business and it didn't come out that great, would you say that you're bad at creating videos? Or would you say that, man, this is the first time I've done this and I guess we could get better? You'd probably practice. You'd probably shoot more videos. You'd probably get better over time. That's what it's all about. So if you're bad at sales right now, then you should consider picking up some educational material, talking to a mentor, working with somebody, getting better, role play, right? Do something to make yourself better. Practice every day. And the crazy thing is that this might be one of those things that is preventing you from becoming wealthy. So we have to unlock this door. Now, let me give you a few suggestions. Number one, the books. Books have helped me more than I can possibly explain to you guys. I used to listen to the sales books over and over and over again when I drove 45 minutes to work and 45 minutes back. I got through probably 20 of the best sales books in one year and it changed my life when it came to sales. So the books alone could do that for you. I'll recommend two right off the start. Check out the Sales Bible by Jeffrey Gittimer and check out the Psychology of Sales by Brian Tracy. Go look them up, get them on Audible, get the print version, however you best digest books, go do it now. The next thing I'd recommend is to work with somebody in sales, a professional, right? I offer specialist sales calls here at Two Brain Business. I'm a certified sales specialist, so I will get on a call with you and role play with you or you and your team. This applies to larger groups as well. So I've worked with teams up to 10 people. Um, it's up to you. It's whatever is going to work best for you and your business. But if you want to talk just about your sales process, we can do that. Lead nurturing, we can do that. Booking appointments, sure, why not? Selling appointments, closing the deal, absolutely. Objection handling, we do that most of the time. So if there's something you need covered there, talk to a professional. The next thing I'd recommend is probably the most important, role play. That's your practice. Practice, practice, practice. But do so in a controlled environment. So here's what I'm gonna recommend. You and more than one person have to do this. So if it's you, a friend, a spouse, significant other, whatever it is, your parents, your coworkers, find more than one person. We need a group of at least four is really the recommended number, up to seven. You don't wanna to go too big either. So what we're gonna do is a little dynamic role play recommend you put one person as the centerpiece. They are the buyer, 
right? So they play the role of who you're trying to sell to normally. Put them in that role, define the role, who are they as this buyer? And what are the objections that they're going to be giving you and everybody else in this group, the sellers? And now we're gonna role play. So for this role play to work, the buyer is going to throw out an objection. And then the sellers are going to try to handle that objection. And you know, if you guys are familiar with my videos here on Two Brand Business, you know that we don't really believe in handling objections so much as we believe in strategizing with the buyer. So this is going to give you practice in a safe, controlled environment of strategizing with this buyer. What would you say? How would you handle this? What would you say next? Because this goes on and on and on. Each person will get a chance to respond to this buyer with whatever they've put out there into the ether as their objection. And then we discuss that as a group. What was everybody's response? How was that interpreted? How was that handled? Ask the buyer how they would have received that. Ask the other sellers what they thought about what you said. On and on and on, right? Continue the process. I typically think of handling objections or strategizing with the client as a, a process of layers. There's not just the, oh, that's too expensive. And then you respond with, oh, if you don't mind me asking, what are you comparing our services to in terms of too expensive, right? And then they would say, oh, the gym down the street. And you would say, good job, role play is over. No, you would then respond to that. What gym were you looking at? Planet Fitness. Great, tell me more about why you were looking at Planet Fitness. What interested you about them? Uh, the fact that they have 24 seven access. I kind of like the purple and yellow colors for whatever reason. And uh, you know, it just worked around my work schedule better. Okay, great, what if I told you that we had a schedule that was more open to you and offered something like personal training. That way you get personalized coaching defined by your actual goals and helping you move forward and achieving those goals. How would that sound? They would say, oh, cool, that sounds great. How much is it? And then we're back to the sales process, okay? So you have to go back and forth. Now, in a larger group, it gets more fun because each person just gets to say one sentence not the full thing so that everybody else is kind of sitting there waiting. It's a little bit awkward. You guys know how it is if you've tried role play before. Most people, when I talk to them about role play, they think it's this one-on-one -on -one thing where everybody else in the company just sits there and watches. And that's awkward, that's embarrassing. That's really hard to do. But if everybody has to go, think of it as like going to school, teacher calls on one person, that kid is embarrassed. That was me, that was you, it's happened to everybody. It's embarrassing. But if the teacher says everybody is going to answer this question and they just call an order on everybody, you know you're coming up, nobody can make fun of you because they're gonna have to answer too. It's just easier, it's less awkward, it's less embarrassing, right? So that's role play, that's practice. So we've got education, professional training, practice. Then you're better at sales. I promise you, there's no doubt in my mind you would get better at sales. I can make anybody better at sales with those three things. So if you feel like you're bad at sales, one, you're not. Two, do something active to get better at sales. And then three, go sell something. Go become wealthy. Go grow your business, because we know that you can. And if you want to level up even more, consider going to our virtual seminar. We'll be offering this April 24th. It's going to be run by myself and Joe Marcou, another professional in sales who's got two more decades on his sales than I do. Joe Marcou runs his own sales training program and is already helping dozens and dozens of entrepreneurs become wealthy and max out their sales processes. We wanna do the same for you. What you can expect from the seminar is a full day of action. We've got four main topics we're gonna to take you guys through, but more importantly, we're gonna help you narrow down the action steps. We understand that seminars where we just blast you with information are not necessarily productive after the fact. Our goal is that you will leave this seminar and you will recoup the entire cost plus some of that seminar within the next seven days. And that is because the stuff we're gonna give you is extremely action oriented. We want you to latch on to one or two things, go out after the seminar and attack. And then go back to the source materials from the seminar and pick another one or two things and just go keep kicking ass and taking names. That is what it's all about. That's what we're here to help you do. Now in this seminar, Joe and I are both going to be talking to you about your sales mindset, knowing exactly what to say when people object to a sale, how to improve your sales process, and how to train and develop sales staff. It's all being covered at the seminar. 
seminar is going to have a ton of value for you and we look forward to potentially seeing you guys there again it's april 24th it'll be an all-day online event so we look forward to having you in the crowd with us